And as he's right out now sideways again, look at this. This is speedway action. And he's enjoying every moment. <laughs> he drove so well at his home race in New Zealand to win. And today, another dose of Falcon victory. And this is drifting in Shane Van Gisbergen style. It's pretty much like his last lap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, odds on those tyres again will never go on another race car. Yeah, hard to see them doing test miles on those, isn't it? And this is the amphitheatre I was talking about. It's such a great reaction from the locals. They love this event. Look at that. Fantastic. It's pretty easy to spin with these now, Cropper. <laughs> that, look, look it's at got the belts rubber. hanging out of the tyre. Yeah. That tyre's totally destroyed. Oh, that's easy to spin there. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of drifting. He's got one being drifting at the moment because... Oh, oh don't go in there. I thought he was going to go on the guardrail. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a big drain down there. He won't get out. Oh, so lucky to get out. <laughs> Righto, that's about enough. Wow, I had, you and I went round the track on Thursday and we both remarked about that, where that train's located down there and he was an ace away from having to walk back to the podium from the middle of the racetrack then. That was shades of Jamie Wincup down in Tasmania a few years ago when Matty White conjured up some magic and we had him up in the grass. That's Look the drain. That. There we go. <laughs> did a great job to get out. Is that a gag? Great job. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, he did actually, he actually ended up down there. Shame, seriously. He's been talking about what he may or may not do to them and everyone's been asking him. He's got the chicken flag. A great symbol of achievement. P1 2016, he's engineer Grant McPherson. There's our champion. And this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Still wondering how he'll be able to rotate the car, hold onto the chequered flag, and not have the door crush his fingers in the process. <laughs> Here we go. Goodbye to the Dunlop soft tyres on the back of car number 97. It's smoke signals at Sydney Olympic Park, and nearly a little bit of panel damage to boot. Gonna bump it up to the fence. And then he just keeps on pulling gears. We saw him do this at the Gold Coast. What a year he's had. It's just been extraordinary. With mentoring and guidance by Triple Eight Racing, Grant McPherson in particular. And there's <laughs> He'll set fire to it if he's not careful. <laughs> Tim Schenk and the race director hey. watching on you, Shane. Well done. That is a champion's performance this year. He's deserved the crown. He's driven unbelievably well with incredible style and flair. Brings his tally 2017 along now to five victories. He lights it up for the fans on the hill. Ripping start in Adelaide. He went on with it in that weird race three in Tasmania. If you're going to pick up a victory, this is the place to do it for Shane Van Gisbergen. <laughs> so it was good strategy play. Yep, they put a little bit more fuel in for their first stop, helped them for their second stop. On correction, he was looking good. Doesn't love a Burnett, does it? Second hand tire, anybody? <laughs> he is the master of this. <laughs> There'll be a new resurface at the top of the hill there next year. This wore a hole in it a second ago. <laughs> does have to do another race with this car, engine, and engine. all the transmission tomorrow. So. Yeah. Look out. Can't see in the cabin. <laughs> Good reason to shut it down. Just switched itself off, didn't it? Turn up. Probably saying get off the oh. front. Oh, that might be a part of the story here as well. 
Hang on. Don't need any body damage on this thing. And here we go. The maestro at work. It's burnout time. SVG style. Very mature drive today by Ben Gisbergen, wasn't it? Hard to say mature whilst the burnout's going on. Now they don't really go together, but the way that Boston was able to also hang on at the end. A lot of smoke going on the inside of that car at the moment. Great drive, Van Gisbergen. Career victory number 34. Beautifully executed. And a tremendous and skilled drive. In fact, all three of them. And they just operate at such an impressively high level, all of them. So in terms of victories this year, Van Gisbergen moves it on to number four. A thoroughly enjoyable pressure motor race in the end. It was a beautiful drive and great effort by both the co-drivers in car 97 and 888. And the signature moves that Van Gisbergen's become famous for, the big burnout at the end. That is a symbolic moment for Holden fans and for the Holden history at this place. Shane Van Gisbergen pulled up at the top of the hill. One of our patrons kindly gave him a Holden flag and he drives down Conrod Strait, one of the most famous pieces of tarmac in the country, to show off the final official factory Holden involvement at Bathurst. Extraordinary stuff. Well done, Shane. That's a great comment from Roland. Garth Tandy did exactly what it says on the tin, <laughs> and it was good. Whether he's being competitive or whether he's celebrating, no one can drop a skid like this guy. In front of a packed crowd here in Darwin, he's going to light it up. And those people up on the hill there will be loving it. 221 points now, Chad. 300 points for a round weekend. So he's two thirds of the way into one round as the fans embrace this victory. And this Kiwi is going to take a power of beating in the Repco Supercars Championship for 2021. They've turned it on for the fans in North Queensland. He may be exhausted, but he's got a little bit left in the tank to celebrate. And no one celebrates like Shane Van Gisbergen. Perfectly executed donuts, which turns into a nice drift. Completely left hand down. Fair whack of opposite lock. Something for the Townsville fans to remember. Today, Shane Van Gisbergen took 300 points and smoked it up. <laughs> nice entry down to turn 11. He locks the rears. Car control that Shane Van Gisbergen displays is just incredible. <laughs> Driving cars this way, they were never meant to be like this. Can we back it up. That's one way to hit the pit lane limiter. It's very good, isn't it? 